Oh, okay, so uh, this popped up right before I was going to go to bed. Um, this is actually the trailer to the next summon banner, so um, yeah, as you can see, I'm. We'll, we'll take a look and we'll review what exactly is going on. Okay, guys? Oh, boy. All right, let's see. Okay, so right off the bat, you can kind of guess where this is going to go based on what you're about to see. Uh, at least I think. Uh, Shadows of Valentia is... Yep. All right, there's Shadows of Valentia. Echoes. All right. Caring Princess. I take my duties as Princess of Zofia. And of course it's Celica. No surprise there. Now, you're not going to be able to see the top or the bottom. Um, for some reason, this just, like, cuts off a little bit weird. I do apologize, but... Or maybe that's just how the trailer is. But we do get to look at her special weapon and also her skills. So let's just take a look real quick. Ragnarok. If unit has 100% HP at the start of combat, unit receives what? What? If attacking unit... What? If attacking unit will receive 5 damage... <laughs> okay, that that seems really odd. Could work pretty well. Not so really into blazing light, but you know, I mean, there's always a chance to change that. Distant defense. That's a new one. If a unit is attacked by foe using bow, daggers, magics, or staff, unit receives defense plus. Oh God! Wow, that seems pretty pretty good for someone like a mage. Who might be uh, attacked? Which, by the way, yeah, she is a mage user. Um, I don't know if we can actually see what type of mage user right now. I mean, I think it's gonna show us at least her in combat in a second. Okay, seems she's a red user. Yep. Oh wow. And just a massive explosion. Skillful survivor. Who? What? <gasps> it's Bowie. It's going to be. Thank God. I was wondering if they were gonna bring him in. I <laughs> know. I know. I'm a fanboy for that. Just. I don't know. I like how he looks. It's weird. Anyways, uh, Gron Owl? Huh, is that... Th so we have... We had Blade Tobes, we have Wolf, we had, I think, Raven as well. And now we have Owl. During combat, units attack, speed, re defense, resistance, boosted by number of adjacent allies times two. Huh. That's... That's gonna be... Huh. That, that's a very Earth boost. What? Okay, Ignis, that's... That's fine. It's always nice to have another unit with Ignis. It just depends on how good, uh, since I'm, bel I, if I were to remember Bowie's stat spread in Valentia, he's a bit more tanky in how he works. So I guess Ignis would probably be a good thing to have for him if they carry that over to this. But we'll see about that. Anyways, let me just talk about a few things. Okay, Earth Boost. If unit has at least three more health than and uh, three more HP than enemy at the start of combat, unit receives defense. Pl okay, well, I mean, gives him an advantage if he has you know three more health than them, and of course renewal as his level three as his B skill, renewal three, which means that he is meant to. That's that's an interesting one. He is a skill a skillful survivor after all, I guess. So. Earth boost makes sense, and renewal makes sense as well. That's kind of complex, and I do like that. So I haven't... I already can guess that May is going to be next in this trailer. I haven't really seen much of this. But, you know, that's that's what we got here. Um, Earth boost and renewal. Definitely very interesting passives. I'm not so sure about the Owl Tome. We'll have to see. Um, complex is the word I would probably use about that, but... Uh, <laughs> So, basically, if you have your old team around him, he will have a lot more speed, attack, defense, and resistance. That's... Why is it Tome users get such strange, strange abilities? I don't understand. Anyways, is there gonna... Is, so, is, so we've had two Tome users now. It's over. And there's him using Ignis. Oh, it had a little owl effect. E, uh, bundle of energy. Traveling in a big it's May. That is not the voice I expected for her. Oh, another owl skill. Okay, so basically the same thing. Draw back, which means that, you know, eh, okay. Desperation 3. Ooh. That might be really good to have on her. I mean, that's that's pretty nice. And, of course, she also has an EXP skill in her passive for C. Uh, you know, the B-Tome experience. That's a little bit niche, I feel. Um... <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of that's it's interesting. I don't know how the owl tomes are going to work out, but the drawback and the desperation are all very fascinating in their own right. Um, 
it's nice to have at least another mage who can get this these skills. I I just hope she has the sp you know the speed that can actually go into using it. I don't know if they're gonna be following her stat spread in that. I don't even remember what her stat spread was uh, in Valentia, but I've been looking at that just because you know we'll probably be playing the game on this channel when it comes out. Anyways, let's uh, just move on to the next character. I wonder what's left. Is it another Mage Tome user or what? So. And there's the owl effect in blue, not too crazy. So we have blue, green, and also, oh. Cheer up. Jenny? Oh no, it's another healer. And I, <laughs> I know some people are probably like, what did you just say? But uh, okay, so she is a uh, physic at, uh, which, you know, that's nice. Gravity is a good ability to have. It's not bad. Heavenly light is definitely Pretty nice to have, and Wrathful Staff. Damage from the unit staff will be calculated. Same as other weapons? <gasps> Holy crap. That, uh... <laughs> okay, well, that single-handedly just made her possibly... <laughs> that might have made her, uh, you know, a very good inherit fodder for someone like Lucius, who uh, could carry over that ability and do a lot of damage. That we could see an actual user. I, I just find it hilarious. They add a skill that actually makes that happen. That's ridiculous, but also... Good lord. That's that's interesting. Interesting in the least. Um, don't really care too much about, you know, physic or gravity. Mainstays here, Heavenly Light are always, is always a fun skill to have on a healer. AoE heals are fun. Um, Wrathful Staff, though. That is interesting. That that is going that could probably change around a lot of what we think about. Too bad it's gonna be stuck on someone like her right now as the only unit who has access to it. That means until you actually I kinda wanna try making an actual team, but that requires like rolling five of her or four of her, and that's just gonna be like a nightmare. I might try though. That just seems really odd. Wrathful staff. Interesting. Okay. Guessing that's all for her, but, you know, heavenly... Jenny, you are going to probably save that a bit. Okay, new story chapter, Rite of Shadows, no surprise there. There's Alphonse. And Bruno's back. Oh boy, this is... Alright, well, new heroes are here, and they are coming... pretty soon, I believe? I, I, I don't really know what to think about that other than... Okay! That's pretty... Cool. Um, I'm just gonna go back and look at them real quick. See if I can't just pull it out. So, Wrathful Staff. Very interesting. Um, Owl Tomes. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about those. We'll have to take a look at them when they're actually in the game to see how they, you know, correspond to things readily. And it's always hard to just take a look at these trailers and try to decipher what's gonna be good about them. But simply put, that looks pretty promising. Um... Bowie, I uh, just missed you. Oh, boy. Okay, there's his abilities. Gron Owl, of course. Ignis, Earth Boost is fascinating in its own right. I I, I keep saying in its own right. <laughs> I have weird talking clicks. Anyways, um, yeah. That that seems fascinating. I, I like it. I like it. I like all of these units so far because they, they have something different about them. They're introducing their own little line of abilities Almost all of them have something that is exclusive to them. Um, Silica, Celica, if you want to call it. I, I, I say Celica, some people just get mad because I, I guess I say it a little bit weird, but anyways. So, I'm just gonna say, I guess that's the best frame I can actually get of that. Ragnarok, that's going to be a crazy spell tome. That, that could really be pretty interesting. Um, she's a red tome user, of course, which means odd things. Distant defense, though. All of these characters have an interesting ability. Granted, I'm pretty sure May got the short end a little bit here. Um, but she at least has Desperation 3, which is always a nice ability to get. Uh, it just depends on how good her speed is. Uh, I don't really care about blue tome XP because, well... The only real characters I can think of that would be worth leveling up with Blue Tome are rarities in their own right. Ursula, you know, Reinhardt, and Lind. 
that's just what I think. So that's pretty much all we have right now. And, you know, of course we have the Rite of Shadow passage thing. And I don't, I mean, I hope you guys are ready. Heroes are here. We'll be ready to go. Um, I don't know when exactly they're going to arrive, but hey, uh, maybe that we actually have an actual date now because I need to look and see. Or maybe these trailers weren't meant to leak at all. Because, uh, yeah, they, it doesn't look like they have any idea. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah. That, that, that new staff looks crazy. That new staff ability means interesting things. So, I'm actually going to try rolling for Jenny a lot. Um, chances are this will be on the 15th um, when Ike's banner ends. So, I hope to see you guys soon for all that fun stuff. For now, I'm going to bed. Catch you guys soon.